All right, let's just dive right into the passage here. In studying the use of external stimuli to reduce the itching sensation caused by an allergic histamine response, Luis Ward and colleagues found that while harmless applications of vibration or warming can provide a temporary distraction, such something stimuli actually offer less relief than a stimulus that seems less benign like a mild electric shock. I get that this passage is a lot of words, a lot of science, a lot of tough words, but the, key, the, the most important word is such. Such is telling me I'm repeating something that came earlier. So it's, it's, it's yeah, it's referencing some, some other words. So I'm just going to find that word. So we're talking about the stimuli. So what do they say about the stimuli? Okay, uh, the external stimuli um, to reduce the itching sensation. Luis Ward and colleagues found that while harmless applications, harmless is such a powerful word. It's a strong word. It's got, it's an adjective. It's got a lot of descriptive, descriptive power here. Um, so harmless applications of vibration or warming can provide a temporary distraction. Such harmless stimuli. So they're talking about the same thing here. Right? They provide a temporary distraction, but they offer less relief. Okay, so I'm looking for a word that means harmless. And once you find that piece of the passage, this is a really easy question if you just know your vocab, because the word innocuous means harmless. It is a dead-on synonym. There is no uh, wiggle room here, no gray area. It is a perfect synonym. So first of all, you should know the word innocuous. It is a classic SAT word, hard enough that you probably don't use it in your everyday life but simple enough that you will encounter it in newspapers and magazines and books and things that, you know, are a little bit higher college level uh, writing. And it is something that will come up on an SAT pretty frequently. Um, the other words, just to talk about them, deceptive, hopefully, you know, that means, you know, something is deceptive. It has to do with lying, right? Because you deceive. So it's the origin of that word. Novel is another SAT word that comes up a lot. Uh, it means something is new or innovative. So it has nothing to do with it being a book, right? We think of a novel as like an old book, um, but nope. In this case, it has to do, it's, a, it's an adjective, so it means new, and that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. And then impractical, hopefully you know, something is impractical, it's not practical, it's not useful for everyday life. So uh, the other words just don't make any sense. We've got no evidence for them, but more important here is being able to kind of pull that right idea out of the passage so that way we know exactly what we're looking for in our answer choices. It's that simple of a connection here. But I get that we're intimidated by these passages that talk about science, especially because they just include a lot of intense words. But look for, for things that kind of let us know that we're repeating an idea or contrasting an idea. Any, any phrases like that are going to be much more helpful than all the science jargon that you're kind of navigating.